Hi guys, I wanted to show you the books that I am hoping to read for autumn. So these will be my Halloween time reads. The first book is by Sarah Waters and it's The Night Watch um, by the best-selling author of Fingersmith. Um, and it says one of the best storytellers alive today, um, The Independent on Sunday. Um, I have read previous books by Sarah Waters and I really enjoyed the way she can tell a story. Um, I don't know too much about this book, um, but yeah, I'm dying to get started on this. Now this is an old favourite, Misery by Stephen King, Words Are His Power. Now I got this book um, pre-loved if you like, and it has been battered and well loved by its previous owner. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know what it is about um, about used books, but there is something so comforting in them. You know, you can see sometimes the pages, you know, the, the as you can see, pages that are maybe read more or read most often by the previous owner. And sometimes you can find little notes or little pencil markings of what they thought and, you know, on the at the sides I won't go into them because there's some there's some personal information in here but yeah um, Misery has been a favorite book of mine by Stephen King for a very long time it was one of the first books I probably read by by Stephen King um, for those of you who don't know the story or haven't watched the film it's about a writer who has an accident and is taken into a woman's home where she is taking care of him um, and yeah, things take a quite uh, a huge turn, um, <laughs> not for the best, when uh, his caretaker uh, loses the plot, if you pardon the pun, uh, she goes off the deep end and yeah, um, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> that probably says about as much as you need to know about the story, but definitely if you get a chance to read this, definitely do. Uh, the next book is another very old um, pan edition of Ira Levin's Rosemary's Baby. And there's a little creepy um, upside down crucifix and a little baby's hand and a little black carriage. I think I've never seen one of these before. So yeah, it is um, super, super creepy. And um, I love the film as well, but I think I find the book even better than the film. I think you can take more in in the book, more of the detail. But a lot of people find it horrific because, you know, it's because of the baby. Um, but I think um, Rosemary's husband is one of the the characters in the book that you don't think is so much a bad guy until you really think about it afterwards. He is an absolutely horrific husband. What he does is just so bad um for his own career so yeah i'm not going to give any more away about that but yeah especially and i love this book because the opening page and the you know it it just sets the tone for the book and every time i start this book i keep hearing the the music from the film in my head and it kind of it kind of stays with you uh the next book i'm hoping to get to for my october reads is going to be the woman in black uh, this is a must read for me every single Halloween. Uh, there's something very creepy about this book. The setting and the mist and, you know, not being able to see and you don't know what's out there. And it's just incredibly uncomfortable reading. And if you look closer on this edition, you'll see the little black crucifix down the bottom of the page. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you're all familiar with this Susan Hill book. Um, and if you ha if you're not familiar, definitely check it out, and then perhaps look at the film with Daniel Radcliffe in it. He does an exceptional job, um, in that movie. Then we have, <laughs> I think my very first October book that I've read every single year is Dracula by Bram Stoker. I was first introduced to this book by an ex-boyfriend um, when I was very, very young. And yeah, he uh, he told me about that how good it was. And I loved horror books and I had no idea where to kind of, you know, where to look, like what made a good, a good horror book or whatever. 
um, but the setting in Transylvania and the, and the Carpathian Mountains and the characters and the, you know, Victorian London, it was, oh, it all made the perfect setting for a horror story. And then just include vampires and various things like that and you have yourself a very entertaining read. And this is one of the beautiful cloth bound editions by Penguin. They're exceptionally well made and they're just, they're stunning. Um, it was my mum that got me this edition for, I think it was either my birthday or Christmas of a previous year. And lastly um, is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Um, you would not particularly think this was exceptionally horrific for a Halloween read, but it, it does have the creepy factor in it. And, well, it's a really well told story and I love Oscar Wilde. So this was a must read for this October. So that's it guys, uh, this is my lovely pile of books for um, for Halloween. Well, it'll be the entire month of October because there's no way I'll get them all read just in Halloween. Um, but tell me what books you're hoping to read um, over the Halloween season. And uh, if you've read any of these and whatever you think of them. So that's it guys, until next time, bye bye.